In this video, we discuss the male aspect in magic and the many faces of the horned god. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together, we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insight, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. The god or male aspect is an essential part of magic and the counterbalance to the goddess. The god, like the goddess, has many different forms and goes by many different names. In his more positive aspects, he represents the sun, fertility and growth. In his darker aspects, he can act as a psychopomp, a guide to the underworld and the death mysteries. These are some of his many names. The Celtic Synonymous, Hearn the Hunter from Shakespearean Tale, the Green Man, whose foliage changes with the seasons, at Midsummer he appears as the Oak King, in Midwinter he is the Holly King, or the Greek satire Pan, from whose name we get the word Panic, all are guises of the Lord of the Sabbath, or Old One. Unfortunately, the God gets rather a bad rap in Christianised history, this primal force of nature being twisted and subverted into the devil. Many accounts from witch trials across Europe make mention of him in some form or another. These tales talk of his appearance at the Sabbath or lonely crossroads where the god can show himself in black bestial forms such as a dog, a goat, a crow or a raven or the mysterious man in black. When working with the energy of the horned god the mind will almost immediately jump to the image of Baphomet, a horned godlike figure that has enjoyed a relatively recent boom in popularity thanks to TV, film and other media. This energy has been incorporated into mysticism and the occult and the enigmatic figure really deserves a video in his own right. But when we say the horn god we mean something much older, more primal, an energy that has been in this collective subconscious for millennia with far-reaching influences in magic and many different cultures. He can be represented by antlers, a deer or ram skull, or a witch's tool known as a stang. A stang is a horned ash staff that can be placed at the northern point of your ritual space to symbolise the horned god's presence as a guardian of portals, the underworld, and the initiator to the crooked path of the wise. When working with energies, it's important to build a relationship with them, to make yourself known so that they're more likely to work with you. It's a good idea to try and understand how their energy works. This is true of the Horned God. A few ways I have found to experience the energy of the Horned God are Spend time in a darkened wood at night with only a candle to guide you. Stop and take a moment to try and try scrying into the candle flame. Or perhaps take a trip to a barrow mound and take a moment to experience the energies there. Walk to a lonely crossroads and see what energies are present. You might catch a glimpse of him in his animal form. All of these are fantastic ways to get to know the strange and mid misunderstood being that is the Horned God. His power is at its peak during the times betwixt, such as Samhain, the Twelve Nights of Christmas, and Midnight. Let us know if you have experienced working with this energy, or perhaps you've caught a fleeting glance of him at a crossroads. Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It helps more people see our videos. Thank you for watching.